Now, building on to what we looked at in our last video, there are two main parts to IIB, or IBM Integration Bus, formerly the message broker. The first one, it is what is known as the development environment, and it is also called the toolkit. And in fact, it's more often known as the toolkit. And very often, this is the full name of it is the IIB Toolkit. Well, the full name is, of course, IBM Integration Bus Toolkit, but you know, IIB Toolkit is what we often see. So that's number one. That's the main, one of the main parts. The second main part, part is called the runtime environment. So you could think of these as the two main environments to IIB. And the runtime environment, one way to think about a runtime is any behavior that happens that you did not write, that you did not create. So like, you know, this is, if, if we're inside the toolkit, which by the way, is really our GUI, that there's really no sort of GUI to this. It is the GUI portion and really the place that you'll spend most of your time is right here in the development environment in the toolkit. So, you know, when you create something in here, uh, you know, in here, then whatever happens, whatever you do is not the runtime environment. In other words, the runtime environment is, is whatever happens that you did not create. So this is, this is sort of the, you know, you can think about it, about it like this. If this is an application that you created, inside the GUI, then all of this right here, that's the runtime. It's the, it's the bed. It is the sort of tool bed. It is, the, it is all of the machinery, all of what's happening that allows your application to run in the first place. It's all the behavior that you are going to see that you did not write. That, this, this area here, this is the runtime environment. Okay, so what does that look like in practice? So if you open up the, here here it is actually, the IBM Integration Toolkit uh, interface. So when you're in here, you will see almost immediately, we won't go through every single piece, but we'll, you'll see almost immediately that there is a section here called the palette. And by the way, to even get to the palette, what you really have to start with is file and you'll go to new and you'll make a message flow because that is what we would typically, typically most often do in IIB's toolkit. And then immediately you'll be faced with this thing called the palette. And the palette is very much like an artist's palette by analogy where you have all of these colors, right? And so the, an artist is going to choose one color, this color to do whatever he needs to do. And, and that is the idea behind this, the, the, the metaphor of the palette. Except that you'll have these groups here, this is MQTT, the JMS, and so on. And the things that are inside here, these are actually these sorts of things, which we know from the last video. These are called nodes. And you will string together nodes, right? So that's node one, and this is you know, node two, I'm making up these numbers because they're not actually numbered that way. But in any case, node and node. And in fact, once you string together all of these nodes, then you have what is called a message flow, as we saw in the last video. And a message flow is, is exactly that. It's, it's, it's the message. Remember that the message really came in here. And then you're doing something to it, which is the message flow here and you do it, the something that you do to it are these nodes. Because a node is a processing step along the way. So you can think of this as, this is really what's happening. This is your input, and that's your output right there, all through the message flow. So if you wanted to, to create a new node, then you would have to open up, you'd have to first of all go to the palette, then go to the group, find the node, drag it onto the screen. We'll be doing this later, but this is just a, a tutorial of what you can expect from the GUI. So that is, those are the main 
portions. Now, once you, since this is actually a message flow, you will see over here, that is exactly what we are seeing under application development. It's called application development because keep in mind that this whole thing, and we're gonna see this in a minute, this whole thing is really considered that application, right? Of course, we called it a message flow, and it is a message flow, but a message flow is actually an application ultimately. And that's why we're seeing it listed under application development. And then in fact, you can see, it says right here, what is the flow? And this is the name of the flow. And the flow ends in dot message flow. So it's pretty straightforward. And you have these bar files and other pieces that we'll uh, discuss later. Then separately down here, you'll have something called an integration node. And the integration node is really simply where IIB is running. So remember, we have our single server. And so we have this node called cfqm.br. So this is just uh, where, where it's running. And then inside that you have um, our particular message flow.